Hello again, class of 2024. It is Maddie and I have a fresh set of videos from some of my friends uh, and they're gonna be talking about their favorite experiences and residential life on campus. So today we're gonna be hearing from Mara, JD, Grayson, Luke, and Hannah. I'm just impressed I remembered all their names. Um, and you are always welcome to leave a question in the comment section of this video if you need anything. Someone will get back to you as soon as they can. You're also always welcome to contact your admissions rep. They love talking to students anytime. So I hope you all are staying happy, healthy, and safe. And I hope you enjoy. Hey there, class of 2024. Hey, class of 2024. Welcome, class of 2024. Hey, class of 2024. What's up, class of 2024? I'm super excited to answer some questions for you guys. So let's get started. I lived in Scott Hall and I loved it because I got to be a part of the Phelps Scholars Program, which was honestly the best decision I've ever made. The community there was so great. Everyone was so supportive of each other. And I felt as if I had a home within the people, not just the building. So freshman year, I was in Phelps. Um, I loved it for a couple of reasons. I really liked the size. Um, it was It's a medium sized dorm um, and that was a good size, a good amount of people in my dorm. I liked that it was co-ed, um, having girlfriends and guy friends um, was really nice. And then I also like that it's attached to the dining hall. Um, so you can go down to the meals in um, shorts and sandals when it's snowy or rainy outside. So super nice. My freshman year, I lived in Dykstra Hall, which is an all female, all freshman hall on campus. I loved it because of the instant community it gave me. And the girls that I lived with my freshman year are still some of my best friends, but it was really nice those first couple weeks to have friends right away and people to do stuff with. I also loved it because it was super intentional. We're all living together and our RA became one of our really good friends and a really great mentor for us. As a freshman and as a sophomore, I lived in Durfee Hall, which is a all men's dorm on campus that houses about 90 freshmen and sophomores. I love Durfee because of the strong community that is built there year after year and the many traditions that come, in, come with it. Also, I really appreciated the opportunity to get to know pretty much everyone in the dorm throughout the year. So I lived in Dykstra Hall and um, I loved it because it just created a really good community to meet people um, that were going through the same experiences as me um, of being away from home and being freshmen. It was a lot of fun. Um, the best part of living on campus is the fact that you get to be surrounded by your friends constantly and you get to live with the people you make connections with and build relationships and see them whenever you want to see them and it makes the college experience 10 times greater. Um, since Hope is already a pretty small school, um, it's pretty easy to get around places so it's really nice to be on campus for that but um, it's also just really nice to be able to get engaged with student life so easily when you're living on campus. Um, definitely for me, it's just getting integrated and meeting all the different new people. Um, you're going to meet tons and tons of people your freshman year. Some people you're going to see and not even re remember their name just because there's so many people that you say hi to. Um, but just walking around and being present on campus um, was huge and just getting to be a part of the, the Hope student body um, and the community and meet all the awesome people on campus. The best part of living on campus is the opportunity to be able to connect with people and also being able to participate in a wide variety of events on campus. Even though Hope is a small college, there is seriously all something going on every night of the week that you can go to. The best part about living on campus is you always feel like you're connected and a part of the Hope community. Whether you're living in a cottage with some of your best friends or living in a residential hall, you really know what's always going on on campus and you really feel connected. 